Did I need another camera? No. Did I get another camera? Yes. If you watched my last video, another year of 35 millimeter film, then you probably know that my Fujifilm zoom date 110EZ is now finished. I am very sad to say goodbye to this camera because this is the first film camera that I ever started using, but it really just doesn't work properly anymore. The shutter release button is very sticky, the film counter doesn't track anymore, and the shutter door is also very finicky. So rather than have it break on me completely, I think I'm just gonna put it to the side for now. Perhaps I can get it repaired in the future, I'm not sure. But in the meantime, this is my new film camera. I picked this up at my local film camera shop and this is the Canon AF35 M2. I believe it's also referred to as the Auto Boy 2. And they said that I have seven days to test it out and if it doesn't work for me, then I can get a full refund. So I decided to do a quick test roll. I had an expired roll of Fuji Color Super HQ200. Probably not the best film stock to test this on, but I really just wanted to make sure the mechanisms of this worked. And this roll of film is only 24 exposures. So far, so good. Uh, my first impression though of this camera is that is it is extremely loud. I do not see myself being very discreet with this camera, but there are a few features on this that I thought were very interesting. One of them being that I can adjust the ISO from 50 to 1000. And that's not something that I see very often on a lot of point and shoot cameras. There's also a pre-focus lever. So let's say that I want something to be in focus in the frame that's not in the center. I can do that with this camera. So I think everything worked out pretty well. I loaded a roll of film, shot through it, unloaded it. Everything seems to be working appropriately. So we're gonna drop off my roll of film, scan it, see how the photos turned out. And yeah, let's just get started. So this is the fun part, looking through the film. But you know how I said that I probably shouldn't have shot this on expired film? Probably not the best film stock to test this on. Yes and no. I didn't want to use a fresh 36 exposure roll in case this camera wasn't working properly. This was just a test roll and film is just getting more and more expensive as its popularity rises. So I didn't want to use a good roll of film if that was the case. So the downside to expired film is that it can have really unpredictable results. As film ages, the chemicals will deteriorate. So you might see some fogginess, increased grain, color shifts. Uh, so I did this camera test a bit of a disservice because any issues that I might see in these photos, it could be due to the camera, but it could also be due to the fact that the film might just be old. 
So the way that I'm going to troubleshoot this is to look for any patterns, uh, looking for any consistent scratching, um, I don't know, maybe light leaks, any dark spots or lens obstructions, uh, any intense over or under exposure where I can't see any of the details in the highlights or the shadows, that would probably indicate that something is wrong with the light meter in the camera. Luckily, I don't see any of those things. I do see some scratches, but nothing consistent enough where it could be due to the camera. The majority of these photos turned out fine. Some of these I actually love, like this one of my tea in bed. The sunlight coming through the windows is just magic to me. I'll never stop taking photos of it. You can see that I took quite a few shots like that. I really was just testing the light because with my old point and shoot, I would have never been able to capture these kinds of photos with 200 speed film because the lens aperture was too high on that camera. For example, I'd usually need 800 ISO film to take a selfie in front of this mirror. All in all, I'm pretty happy with how these turned out, all things considered. I think the verdict is that I'm gonna keep the camera. It seems to be in perfect working order. I didn't have any trouble shooting, loading, unloading. Uh, the self timer seems to work fine. I didn't make use of the pre-focus and the flash setting too much, so I'm probably gonna test that next. But yeah, I think, I think I'm gonna keep it. So I'm gonna finish inverting these, but thank you for watching this video. I'll probably post some of these photos to like social media or my blog, so you can take a look at that if you want. But thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.